is a quick peek, uh, peek uh, of the end of the greenhouse would it be at and you can see I've got my plastic in yesterday I just rolled it out to make sure I had the correct length that I needed to go down I ordered 50 foot and it is exactly 50 foot no extra so I'm gonna have to bring my greenhouse back from 50 to probably about 46 something like that to get the right plastic to go over it but I covered up the uh, ground here with the tarp and stuff to help shield the water so maybe to help dry it out a little bit under there so I could till later on and over here is the little greenhouse I had I'm gonna do some more work on it seal it in better so I started uh, doing my seeds and start my little plants off we'll go inside here kind of a messy deal but but this will be it uh, I still gotta build some more tables in here but uh, like they said you have to start somewhere start small and grow from there uh, I've been watching a video from Curtis Stone the urban farmer it make me believe that uh, I can do this I just don't want to get as big as he's got so I just want to be a small urban farmer to sell produce around have produce for myself and friends but one of the issues I have here is drainage in my yard as you can see right here I'm doing a French drain trying to channel this water all the way across my property I'm gonna go all the way up to the fence over there yeah, I've got to go back up to the side of the house and go all the way to the front with the French drain and have pull that water all the way down. So, this is, like I said, just a little short clip. Let y'all see what I'm doing, what I'm up against. But, uh, I can do this. If I can do it, everybody else can do it. Talk to y'all next time. Bye. Well, yesterday, in between the rains, I got out here and worked on the greenhouse for a little while. Got all the stakes put in the ground and got all the bows put up. So, I'll give me a turn this thing around and we can see what happens. As you see, we got the, the bows put up across there. It ended up being a 26 by 48 foot greenhouse. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we start getting it all straight. The hip boards put up, and the purlins and the ridge line all hooked up, and we start pulling the plastic after that. So it's just an update of what we're doing on the new greenhouse. I'll get back with you on the next video. Well, here it is, March the second. Uh, rain stopped yesterday. Uh, still working on the greenhouse. We got quite a bit done yesterday Still a mess. So I'm gonna flip this thing around so y'all can see uh, what we got done so far From the last video. So here we go y'all Here's the front of the greenhouse we got built in between the rain. I'm gonna walk around here. I ain't keep stepping in some of this mud. And we're working on the back side of the greenhouse. We're still working on this wall here. Have to go get some more supplies to finish uh, the framing part of it so we should get it finished framed in get the plastic pulled up and right here these uh, hip boards right here goes all down on the side there we got to put a channel down through there to pull the plastic over the top to hook it to but uh, you can see it's coming along. It's just taking a long time getting it in between these rains. These rains is giving me the fits. Had to dig a ditch. 
to drain the water out. Uh, reshooting this video of the inside of the greenhouse. It's a 26 by 48, like I said before. I've got uh, six rows inside here, which are approximately 40, 40 foot each. Plus, I had the sides set up where I could put pots and stuff in here on the both sides and hang plants up on the purlins up there. Eventually, I'll have my tomatoes, cucumbers in here, and some other uh, peppers and stuff like that. I uh, wanted to kind of tell you what all I've got in here growing so far. Uh, I'm going to have to put in the ground. But these right here is going to be some uh, hollyhocks. Then I've got uh, broccoli right here. All of these open on the back row is all cucumbers that will be planted here inside the greenhouse. And here's my squash. I've got through here. I'm going to get planted in the ground next. <laughs> I have uh, bell peppers back here that's coming up. And then go back down here. These are some more peppers down here on the front row. All this stuff is slowly coming up. But uh, it will eventually get big enough for me to get in the greenhouse and some of it will be outside. The okra will be going outside next to the squash, planted next to the greenhouse. These little containers here, or petunias, we got started. Let's just see what we're going to do with them. And here's uh, two more pots of petunias, different colors, and another basket over on the side over here. And we'll go over here. Here's some uh, giant uh, sunflower seeds we had from last year that we didn't get going. And on the back side is some cantaloupes. I got Walmart last year that's really large, really sweet cantaloupes. So I wanted to plant some of them. And I got a what yellow meated watermelon seeds from last year from a watermelon. I got one coming up right there, you can see there in the corner. I have my jalapenos, habanero peppers. I have some other hot peppers here. I can't remember the name of them. And I have my aloe vera. I had survived from last year. And here's some more petunias there in the basket here. We're going to give to a friend of ours when they get large enough. But I'll look around here and I'll show you what I have planted. See if I can get focused in here. Uh, but anyways, I have like 30 different items Set up here to grow and I got them all numbered and what they are so let's See if I can zoom in on this thing Get focused There we go There's my mouse trap holding it all together there Trying to see what all that done slow so you can read this thing There's all those get on down to the cantaloupe and the watermelons but like I said it, it's coming together so there we go turn this thing all the way around here Let's see what this thing is going to do there we go back to the greenhouse I'm not real good at this camera operation. There we go. An intruder here. That's Stormy. That was Nita's dog. So they always have to come in and check everything out. Come on, Stormy. Let's go. All right, let's go back outside out here. But like I said, there's artillery guy. It's a craftsman, rear tine. A lifesaver. It was great breaking this new ground in. I really recommend this Craftsman Tiller. It's great. It's a dream. It's a lot better than a mule when we as a kid we had to use. But this is getting kind of long video. 
you see back here behind the greenhouse those uh, bowls there I've got enough of bowls left over from when I bought this to do another greenhouse about the same size but I got something right there that was different but I can do another pretty good size greenhouse for those but this is my junk area which really needs to be organized <laughs> so here we go back around you can see this it's coming together so it's going to take time but I'll end this video now and I want to thank y'all for sitting and watching this thing uh, hopefully I get better at this camera operation do a lot better videos as I get more vegetables in the ground I'm really hyped up on doing this I know I can do it I want to thank uh, a few people Curtis Stone from up in Canada he's the one that got me to believe that I can do this and if I can do it I think anybody can do it talk to y'all later bye